Arara. So, it was you, the man ascending the mountain for the last few years. Who am I? <laughs> oh, you're so young, aren't you? Let me have a closer look at you. <laughs> Are you very scared by my appearance? You've been coming to this shrine for years and years, one after the other, and you're going to tell me that you've never known who was the deity you've been praying to for all these years? Oh, you did. And then why you're so scared? You're not scared? <laughs> no. I can see what it is. It's not fear that is stopping you. It's lust. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to get up. You will stay on the floor for a while, understood? <laughs> Good. The scent of raspberries always gives me such a beautiful feeling. Why am I smoking raspberries with my kinaru? Or is so dense as to not understand who am I? Come on, count the number of tails that are brushing your face right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Yes, I am a night-tailed kitsune, and the goddess of this shrine. Yes, I am the goddess that you have been praying to all those years. You have been coming to pray here because you wanted to find the lover in your life, haven't you? And even if that has been your fate to give me this form, you know, I'm still not fully manifested in your work. Yes, it has been your years of praying that made this meeting possible, but as you may have already understood by the number of tales that are brushing your face, I am not yet to stay. My powers are fully manifested, but my body physically isn't. For that to happen, I would have to get something from the same person that I've been feeding me for all these years? Yes, it will be you, human, and there are two ways to achieve what I need. The first will be for me to have waited for longer before manifesting and thus having more energy. But Due to this being impossible and also very inappropriate on my side. Mm, what do you mean by that? Well, I am the goddess of love and families after all. I've been watching over this world for centuries, seeing strangers becoming friends, then lovers, wife and husband. But there was something that always fascinated me. Something that I couldn't have done while being only a spirit. Deities are immune to death, and thus we are never born, age, nor grow old. It could be seen as a gift for humans like you. Never aging means being forever young and beautiful. It would be perfect, wouldn't it? And that's true. At least for our spiritual form. When manifested in your world, we start to experience everything like normal living beings. That's why I've been feeding on your faith for all these years. I wanted to come this world and see with my own eyes what love truly was, but as the years passed, I couldn't but start to think how would it be to feel those emotions myself. 
and thus the reason my current form it being the one of a kitsune and we both know that is not because you like japanese history at least not only for that reason am i wrong you <laughs> oh yes i know how much you love looking at those books where such creatures show their assets at first i thought of it as an another the reason to be ashamed of the human race but then after having watched more of you after having understood the reason why you were reading them i couldn't help but fall for you young human Yes, you have heard me right. I love you, young human. And this will only make things easier for the both of us. Hmm? What do I mean? Well, I've said that there was another way to make me stay living here in this world, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> the ideal womanly body. Your ideal womanly body. Hmm? You still don't understand. I am the goddess of love and family does. Only by becoming a mama will give me the ninth child that will make me able to live here with you forever as husband and wife, as father and mother. <laughs> 